Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to take a Photoshop image and convert it into a website using a new Photoshop plugin called WebZ. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up a Photoshop file that I created earlier. It's called Sample WebZ Site. And as you can see it's a fairly simple site. It has a title layer, a box that goes around it, a header background image, some text at the bottom of the page, and a logo at the top of the page that's made out made up of some logo text and a logo circle. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to export just a single layer and that's going to be this text layer at the bottom of the page. So to do that all we're going to do is rename this layer so that it starts with a hash. The layer text will be renamed to hash text. What this does is it lets WebZ know that that layer is supposed to be for export. And after we do that all we do is run WebZ. To run WebZ we're going to open up the file menu choose scripts and WebZ PSD to HTML converter. The interface is really simple. It's basically a giant build button. You click the build button and it creates your website for you. Now this is the list of files that were created. We're going to click index.html and you can see here that the about our company text and the rest of the text has been faithfully reproduced. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and rename the rest of these layers so that the entire web page can be exported. So we'll rename title to hash title, box to hash box, and header background to hash header dash background. So one other rule about renaming these layers is that the layer names cannot contain a space in them. So in this case I've renamed header space background to hash header dash background. We're also going to export this logo layer group so we're going to rename that to hash logo. Uh, the hash logo layer group contains two layers a logo text layer and a logo circle layer. We don't want to export these layers individually so I haven't uh, marked them for export. What happens in this case is that any layers inside of the layer group hash logo will be merged together before the export is actually done. Now we're going to run WebZ again We'll click the build button again and it creates our web page. So in this case WebZ actually generated some images for us. It generated a header background image and a logo.png image which as I mentioned earlier is the two uh, inner layers that were merged together and then of course the index.html and the styles.css that we also had last time. So I'm going to click that and you can see that the web page has been faithfully reproduced. It looks exactly like the original Photoshop image and if you look at the source code for this you'll find that it's it's really nicely written just as if a designer did it. So that's our getting started tutorial. Hope you liked it. Please go to our website at webz.com and download the free trial if you haven't done so already.